Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609. I'm fixing to go out for a walk here. There's my casita. It's about 50 degrees, cool. Got on my gloves and my orange shirt. Let's go. Yeah, we'll just go take a walk. Just like, let me get my walking stick. My stick doesn't actually walk, but it's an old ski pole and it comes in handy. <clears throat> but anyway, let's go. Oh, this is something somebody sent me, some yard art stuff. <laughs> so let's go. Anyway, it's a beautiful day, isn't it? What I was going to tell you this morning is form good habits and become their slave. By that I mean form good habits and become their slave. A good habit is what? Walking for exercise. It's freaking awesome. I'm telling you, it's the best exercise you can get next to swimming. It's easy on your body. Jogging just beats you to death. But we're going to go take a little walk here, if I can get my feet under me. Beautiful morning, as you can see. This is a city park here on the left. RV park's on the right. <laughs> that guy rides by every morning. He lives here in the RV park. He cranks up his Jeep and drives through the city park and goes back parks and goes in and watches TV, I guess. But yeah, I'll show you the river. The Lano River's right down here. See that river? Yeah, you can walk right down there beside it. But I'm going to walk over here today. Why? Because they're, they're building, or they're adding, it appears, some more RV sites. And uh, so I'm going to check them out. How far do I walk? Uh, I don't walk by distance. I walk by time. I try to walk about an hour every morning, between 45 minutes and an hour. It depends. If the weather's bad, I'll cut it down to 30 minutes and then do that two or three times a day. But I walk more than once during the day. I'm, I'm big on exercise, so to speak. Kind of going into the sun a little bit now, <clears throat> naturally. Yeah, they got some Jeeps over here we'll go take a look at. I don't know what they're here for. They've got them on a trailer. But down there to the left, where that equipment is, if you can see it, there's a whole row of uh, electric meter boxes and water hookups. I didn't see sewer, but I saw everything else. But anyway, I'm going to also walk over here. So they're working on that. So I guess they're going to add some. I'm not sure if that's just going to be for special events. Because see right here, they have like a community center thing. And uh, it's just a big vacant building. Let's go over and check this out. I don't know, they must be going to have some kind of an event here. It says Rusty's Off-Road Products. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Finally got a little recognition. Jeep Jamboree USA. Yes, apparently this is sponsored by Jeep. Yeah, see these big these Jeeps here? It says Jeep Jamboree USA. And it's got a Rancho Jeep and a Best Stop Jeep and an Amarlite Jeep. And they're parked here for some reason. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. I dropped my stick because I was changing hands. But anyway, let's go. Oh, there's an RV over here, uh, Class C. I thought it was for sale. He parked it around there, but I'm not sure. Uh, it's, uh, I don't know if I'm blocking the camera with my fingers or not. Oh, it's called Jeep Jamboree USA. So apparently they are going to have an event, an event here. Let's see if it says anything else. Yeah, it says, Welcome Jeep Jamboree USA. Well, maybe I stumbled into something again. 
Well, they've got a big uh, dumpster here getting ready for some trash. So are we going to have a Jeep Jamboree? Let's see what we got. It was one of the city policemen, one of the many. <clears throat> uh, this is Delano County Community Center. Huh. Well, they're getting ready for something because they've added all these, uh, see those little colored cans there with the sticks in them? Is this thing even on now? Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, the, I'm telling you, I've been having some problems with these cameras, these phones. This guy's looking to camp somewhere. I'm going to try to find out what's going to happen here. If I see somebody, I'll ask them. Oh, here's somebody. <clears throat> they got Jeeps here. What is this Jeep deal? Howdy. How you doing? Good, sir. Are y'all going to have a Jeep Jamboree? Are you part of it? Yes, sir. Well, good. I'll I'll, I'll promote your part of it. I'll promote your event. I got a YouTube channel and I'm oh, okay. traveling around here. But is damn, this is a hell of a jeep you got. Yeah, i i This is not your normal. Uh, no. Yeah, I'm, I'm one of the trail guides, so I, I I'm kind of an exception. So. Oh yeah, I can yeah. see that. Yeah. Yeah, this thing is set up for going totally off road anywhere, isn't it? Uh, well, anywhere is a relative term, but it'll go a lot of places. Yes, sir. <laughs> it'll climb a mountain, right? Oh, yeah. Been there, done that. Been know? there, done that. Well, <laughs> well, how many Jeeps do you expect to be here? Uh, well, Jeeps, we are, well, the Jamboree's full, uh, and customer-wise, uh, vehicles would be, sh not counting trail guides and all, should be about 130. Hit right here? Well, they'll start here, yeah, we stage here. And then, and then where do you go from here? Uh, to a place called Inks Ranch. Uh, Is that over by Inks Lake? No, actually it's not. Okay. Um, it's over by Enchanted. You know, it, oh yeah, Rock yeah, I do. Used yeah. to be part of the ranch many okay. years ago. Okay. Um, and so it's if you look basically due north, you see what's on it. No, not from here, but from from oh. Enchanted Rock. From Enchanted Rock, yeah, yeah due if you, north. If you were yeah. on top of Enchanted Rock, you would look pretty much due north. Okay. And you would see the same type of rock formation we'll be climbing on, crawling on, as we call rock crawling. But you stage here. We Go to Enchanted. Here, uh, it's going to be a little weird this year with the COVID uh, social distancing and all. Um, we've got to have. Usually, we have big dinners in the in the community center and yeah uh, and all that. But we'll be st we stage out in that field right over there, uh, and then we usually have big meetings, drivers meetings in the morning. But since again because of the COVID, we're going to have individual people right uh, out but, at the ranch. So. Yeah. The ranch is about is 18 miles from here by by road. Is this an annual event? Uh, actually, you know, sometimes twice a year. Yeah. It's, really? Yeah. We we were supposed to have one in March, and, and of course you know what happened in March. Uh, Unfortunately, yeah, I did. Uh, so it got canceled within like two days of the start of the event. Right. And then so we kind of moved that one to here, but uh, we had one here last fall, last spring. Okay. So yeah. So usually once, at least once, if not twice a year. Well, let me ask you about, you built this apparently from... Uh, I wish I could say I did. I, I, I do build Jeeps, but this one I, I modified a bunch, but I didn't really build it. Okay. I, I bought it mostly like this. So, But well, most of the Jeeps are are more like like this one over here. Yeah. Uh, that's an old Well, one. I looked at the ones on the, on yeah, the trailer. They're more, a lot of them are actually more like those. Right, yeah. right. Uh, so what time Saturday morning do they meet here? Uh, we will probably leave there by around eight o'clock wow yeah well i'm uh, sorry i'll miss you <laughs> okay well normally we wouldn't leave that early but again with the covid we've, we've yeah. got to we've got to keep people apart what uh, are, there, are there events like climbing events no or? it's trails we run just we trails have, we have organized trail rides okay so All we right. have like myself i lead what's called the red group okay uh, well that's catchy i yeah, got that well it happens to be my favorite color right it just works out that way <laughs> uh but we have seven groups um, and they're, you know, they're one one easier group, and then pretty much everybody else does the same trails. Well, is it a membership thing? You pay a membership? No, no. It's uh, you have to obviously you have to have a jeep, uh, so and you can you can join. It's a it's Jeep Jamboree uh, USA is the business. This, right. They they do this, uh, and it's a you know it's a, a 
a for-profit business. Okay, uh, all right. So folks pay to come here and be, you know, it includes their uh, six meals. meals. Uh, okay. Spotting, you know, we our trail guides do help them get through all the, the trails. And well, do they tent them. camp at all or not? Uh, some do, but I mean, they, they we got people in motor homes. Yeah, and yeah. And yeah, all, they'll be all over hotels. Well, are they going to open up these uh, RV sites by the... No, actually, we have RV sites right up, right down here in the rodeo, old rodeo grounds right down well, there. I, well, over uh, here. Just, you can see the equipment down there. They just put in. I yeah. Think, I think there's... Well, is that for your event? Yeah, we're going to be able to use those. Yeah, because they've got what looks like water and electric. No, yes, no, 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 no sewer. sewer. Yeah. yeah. So. Well, they also have probably a hundred of them over there behind that big barn. Yeah, but we're not we're not going to be able to use that. But uh, yeah, I don't I don't get I don't have control over that. No, this I got is our you. coordinator here. Is, yeah, uh, uh, Jeff Mason. Hello, Jeff Mason. Hello, you're inside our bubble now. I need to know your name and name and who you are. My my name, rank, and serial number. Yeah, well, because <laughs> you're inside our bubble. Your yeah. bubble. Yeah, you know, we I have to have contact information on everybody who's inside our. Yeah, it's the co so, it's the requirements. So now that you're inside our bubble, I well, have so to just, know who you are. So just tell them your name and. Who okay, you my name's Rusty, and I'm taking a video of you. <laughs> well, that's fine. That's why I see that. Yeah. We're no, strictly by COVID. No, I live right over there. Yeah, but see, now you're inside our bubble. I don't even know what you're talking about. Bubbles well, and it's, shit. You're in. Uh, the, I'm a, I'm running under COVID-19. Yeah. Restrictions. Yeah. Anybody in our group, you know, has to. You know, I'm not in the group, but no, I you understand what you're, <laughs> you you're, you're inside the area. Well, do I get a free you, Jeep? Yeah, you have control over that's uh, that's the thing. Uh, what, what's your name, sir? Rusty. Rusty. I'm Jeff Mason. H Hello, Jeff. Okay. Now, the I'm whole just, purpose of this is contact information. If someone got sick with us, we would need to contact you to let you right. know. Well, I live right there in that RV park. All right. Because we have, we're going to have 300 people from all over the country. Sure, I so. can see that's going to be a big issue. So you said yeah. you have a, a YouTube channel? I really do. What, what is it? It's Rusty78609. And what, what, what I do it? RVing stuff. I've been doing it for oh, about okay. 12 years. Oh, cool. cool. Yeah, yeah. we got about 48,000 people that watch you guys. So have you ever been to a, a you've never seen a jamboree? No. Been around here before? No. I've never been in a bubble either. Well, he's, that's, the term the NBA, that's the term the NBA's been using. I know. It is, well, it's all new to me. You understand? The well, yeah, it's, it just that he, he, he's right. I mean, as the coordinator, he's responsible for keeping No, I hear you. Everybody. No, it's the, and, uh, the, governor, the governor has given us an instruction sure. to get permission from the uh, City. mayor. So I have, no, it's this, actually, I have incorporated and unincorporated improve, uh, approval for Lano County. But is with, because I've agreed to follow certain guidelines. But you're with you're with Jeep I Jamboree. Jeep, right. But you're with Jeep Corporation or just no, Jeep Jamboree Jeep Jamboree USA. Is that part of Jeep Corporation? It is sponsored. It is a uh, Jeep supports it. Okay. Technically no, but it is sponsored. They uh, Jeep I used to work for Chrysler for many years oh, okay. for Jeep and and for many years they have sponsored you know, because it's obviously to their best interest. To well, I would say. Out there, but, sure. So uh, technically, no, it's not part of Jeep uh, yeah. Corporation, you know, right. pressure, but it is uh, It is sponsored. Okay. By, so. Well, it sounds like y'all are going to have a lot of fun. Oh, we do. Yeah, we do. It's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun, too. Yeah, you, know, you're re you were real close to being exempted here in Lano County because the, they, they uh, had less than 20 cases in several weeks. And they so they reimposed the mask. Yeah, I know. They did. They, did. they do that, Jeff. I didn't see. Well, because why. they they actually went over the guideline by like three cases. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. uh, the, the county judge, you know, the governor said if you have less than five cases or something right. of that nature, you can release some of your your restrictions. Right. But, you know, they had like ten pop up the next day after they did. Now, <laughs> well, well, you know, I wonder if that was coincidental, yeah. huh? These were just the cases where the people <laughs> tested positive. Not necessarily yeah. got sick or what? what, what yeah, that's, well, that's it, it, it's the test. Yeah, if you look at Lano County's posts and they show where they're from, if they're hospitalized, and you know what age group they're in, and no, but the requirement is just if you test positive, that counts as a one. Correct. Whether you're sick or not. Correct. Correct. Yeah, I mean, because they're not, none of them are hospitalized. I mean, could you be asymptomatic for that matter, and you could? Correct. <laughs> Don't ask so many questions. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, 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 I know more a lot, a lot more about it than I let on. But yeah, I hear you. Know, you. I, I, I strongly believe everybody, personally, you put this on YouTube or not, I strongly believe that everybody's going to have the COVID one way or another 
before it's all over. Well, and they may not even know it. And that's the whole point. Yeah, and because it already had it and don't. Sure. Well, it's just like the flu virus every year. You know, you may be exposed to it and carried it, but never got ill. Yeah. I also, yeah. I also think we're going to have COVID twenty, COVID twenty one, COVID twenty two. Now we may skip it. I wish they wouldn't have given it a. They could have given it a better name. You well, know. It all has to do with the. You know. The, the, I know, but yeah. But it's be like, that as it may, that it's didn't. Like naming frogs. The frog is not. You know. It's, that's my son. He's a zoologist. So. <laughs> yeah, a frog's a frog, right? Well, no, the name is like forty letters long, but it, you call it frog. <laughs> you know? So for your for your information, sure. On, um, tomorrow we're going to do our registration. They're coming in, but Friday morning at eight o'clock we'll do the departure. I told him that. So yeah. that's oh, it's Friday know. morning at eight o'clock, not yeah, Saturday. Yeah, not tomorrow. I'm sorry. And, I, and, yeah. and it was Friday and Saturday. Friday and Saturday. Then we come back. We come back in in groups of uh, groups of twenty five. So okay. If you want to be out here in the morning, that's when you're going to get. Yeah, I will. Zooming the jeeps out. Yeah, here. I want to see all the jeeps right. because I think that'd be neat. I see you're traveling in a motorhome. Mm -hmm. Somebody is. Yeah. It's a nice rig you got there. Yeah, I'm a full time. Or, you know, I live, actually, I'm a volunteer with the. Yeah. He's well, homeless. Yeah, yeah I'm homeless. Well, well, I'm homeless too. I full time RV. Are you full time? Yeah. Oh, I've been doing it for 25 years. I've yeah. been doing it five, five years. I wouldn't do. I wouldn't live any other way, man. Well, see, I'm, I'm a volunteer with the U.S. Army Corps at Canyon Lake. Are you really? So that's where I, that's where my current. Yeah. You know, I've been with Texas Parks and Wildlife. I've been with Colorado Parks and Wildlife. So yeah. Kind yeah. Of, that's your. That's a fun hobby. Well, you know, I, I was just at the Corps of Engineers Park in Georgetown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, the Corps of Engineers do a great job. Yeah. Uh, Yes, we can do, do a better job. Yes, oh. they do, Jeff. They, they, we can do a much, we <laughs> can do a much better job. <laughs> Be positive, Jeff. Yeah, I hear he's, you. He's there firsthand, so he sees some of the things. I am like their, any, I'm, their head, I'm their head maintenance for Canyon Lake. Uh oh. So all right. Like any business, if you work for them, you see the, uh, the what do they call it? The, the ugly underbelly or something? <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Anyway, I'm going to leave y'all and let y'all carry right, on. Anyway, you, enjoy right. your all event right. and good luck to you, and, and I'm going to step out of your bubble. Yeah, well, yeah, I said, I just, <laughs> I told everybody, I said, well, once somebody comes in, you got, you're in the bubble. I, got to, I have to have contact. Cause that's one of the requirements. Is well, no, that's contact. fine. Yeah, what, whatever the rules are, I'm for it. Yeah. Anyway, good luck to you guys. All right. Have a great day. Yes, sir. Adios. What do you think about that, guys? We just, we just went in and out of a COVID bubble. We didn't even feel the pain. So, that's what you walk into, guys, when you go out walking in the mornings. I don't know how this video is going to turn out on the on youtube but uh yeah i didn't never even heard of the jeep jamboree usa and now i'm a an authority so for those of you that have jeeps check out jeep jamboree usa and uh enjoy your life one day at a time thumbs up carpe diem adios bye bye use the amazon link if you think about it, it doesn't cost you a penny go to amazon buy something they pay me a little bit and it doesn't cost you a nickel so enjoy your life Drink plenty of water and keep your health. Adios. Bye-bye.